Exciting game. Didn't do a good job at halftime. You know, Ball State did a nice job, uh, as they did last year. You know, they got a nice club, and Pete does a good job. They play well against us because I know it's a big game for them. And this is a big game for us. Our guys were ready. Didn't tackle good first half. Had way too. I don't understand our issue. We have 12 penalties, 127 yards, uh, defensive interferences, holdings, personal fouls. Late it just some unexplained the things that we got to get corrected. I was very, uh, very proud of our kids. Kind of thought all along we'd play well. Thought we'd play pretty well offensively. I uh, appreciate the way they hung in there and battled. Uh, had a minor, uh, uh, Suffield got a uh, hip pointer. Tried to play a drive with it, couldn't push off. So we went to, uh, not Suffield, Kaufman. Cam got a hip pointer. So that's why we went with Nate at the end. And that's why we played Nate last week. We'll need both of those guys. But uh, I don't think Nate by any means is major. We tried to deal with it, but couldn't get him back. But that wasn't the reason. Nate came in, played well, got the lead back for him. He's got a great future. Uh, but again, just not to get the stop at the end, uh, not to get some stops earlier, and really to play a very, very poor third quarter. And I got to look at it as me, and I got to look at it as coaches. Come to tell you, I can look at our kids. I love the way they're practicing. We had a phenomenal week. I like the way they work. I like the way they just looked at me in the locker room. We're changing the mindset with those kids. They're getting better. But as coaches, we didn't do a good job. Didn't do a good job at halftime making adjustments. Um, we just kind of laid an egg, and that's, that falls on me. Uh, you know, you make calls, and kids got to make plays, but I'm telling you, I can look at my kids with a lot of respect. Defense play a little better here and there, take some penalties out, but this game was on, uh, on me. It won't move forward and get some things going in a good way. So, I guess, what was it in that third quarter? I think three drives and like <coughs> 10 plays offensively, just kind of what wasn't clear. Couldn't get in rhythm, and that's a credit to one, their defense making a stop, or just, you know, whether you know, you're throwing the ball. I think. Um, I'm trying to remember the, the, the play flow there early. I know, I know we tried a couple short passes and just didn't connect. You got behind chains. But, you know, if you can get in rhythm and get, get you four or five, get you four or five, get you six, and get a first down, you get rolling, then, you know, the run, the pass, there's good flow in the game. We just, we just didn't do a good job of either execution or play selection. They didn't dramatically do anything. They did blitz a little bit more than they had done other games. But it was the same blitz as they did last year against us. So it's like, hey, Here's standard issues. Here's how they attacked us last year. Expect it. We didn't handle it early, uh, well. But um, again, just um, you know, I think we had three, three forty, three fifty at halftime. You know, and you're up by a point. You know, and I think they're sitting at one eighty. And you've kind of, you've kind of, you know, statistically, if you're in the stats, but stats are for losers. Stats are for assistant coaches. End of the end of the day, you know, they're nine of eighteen on third down. Um, you know, rushing the ball, they have two hundred yards. We have a buck thirty five. You know, we have 55 passes, probably too many. Of course, we're behind, you know, so 87 plays, 550 points or 550 yards. You know, just defensively, they ran the ball. Their backs are patient. Big old line, it kind of gets in your way and leans on you, kind of patient, and we didn't tackle well. But, um, again, really, really, really just poor job coming at halftime. You know, and we'll talk about as coaches and try to figure out what we did and how to do better. Kevin, the, um, the last four minutes when, when you made the, the comeback, what was going right at that point? Just the protection a little bit. Uh, just hit a couple shots. You know, we throw a little corner route. We run a little swing sit route. We went swing corner. And they took a bait and hit a corner, and Cody outran them. Uh, did a nice job on the two-minute drive. Did a really good job on the two-minute drive, um, working them down. And then just couldn't finish it off on, on our side. I don't think, did they have any sacks? Did we sack those guys? I don't think we sacked them, do we? And so that was a big part there. They do a nice job of gap protecting in some play action stuff, move the pocket with some boot. And, in our four-man game, we just didn't get home. So, again, line of scrimmage game, I got to still give it to Ball State. They run for 200 yards. We have no sex. We told our guys starting Monday this game would be won at the line of scrimmage. And end of the day, you know, that, that, that's one of the outside penalties. That's probably the one thing I'll give them an edge today because they got us there. A little out of left field, but it felt like punting was an issue tonight. I mean, just in the sense that they yeah, kind of kept back. Punting well, but they, they, they kept back. Go for the from, from you guys think I'm bonehead, but I watch punt 15 minutes a day, so. You know, but at the same time, I don't know what was the field exchange with. I mean, they got a phenomenal punter, which they've always had going back to, I remember Brad Maynard a decade ago. They averaged, uh, what, seven punts, 37.6, and we were seven, 37.3. They're fourth in the nation, the best punter, and they all punted us by .3 yards. So we really stunk. How, how big of an issue did you feel field position was? I think you guys had six drives starting inside your own 20, and there were only like one or two that were really outside the, the 25. Well, and, and I don't know. I didn't, Unless to me you're on the one or two and really puckered up in the end zone, you know if you're still, one time we had a block in the back on a kick return that started one on the ten, so that was a poor play by one of our young men. 
one of those major penalties we had. But the um, um, I, I never I never felt it was bad. I mean, a part of field position is your defense getting a three and out. And when they work you a little bit and work you a little bit and work you a little bit and get to midfield, and if we're going three and out, three and out, you know, then all of a sudden it's like, you know, you're always on your 10 or 15 going three and out, punting the midfield. You know, so part of that, you know, the field position is not just kick, kicking's a part of it, but it's also your offense, defensive stops. And we did get some stops, but they, they worked us. They had the ball for 32 minutes. We had it 27. Both teams had almost 90 plays. There was a lot of ball out there. Both teams were 9 of 18, 8 of 18. It's a pretty even game, I guess, is why it came down to the last play. Point, would you say Kaufman is the starter going into the next game? Oh, I think so. I didn't know what's his numbers. I didn't look at him yet. Uh, 20, 24 to 35 for 250. Like it's 13 to 20. They're both comparable. But, you know, I mean, I, I, I like them both. They both got great futures. That's why a week ago we played them both. Moving forward, there will be no controversies. The best guy practices will play. They're both similar uh, in what they do. Uh, we'll keep coaching them up hard. And as we move forward, again, I'm still excited with the young football team we got that Trey's going to be with us for three. We'll keep developing him. There's red shirt years for all those guys. We need to recruit one or two more. Uh, but, um, uh, but again, um, I thought Cam played very, very well. Unfortunately, he got a little nicked up there. One more question. Well, when, you, when you say you guys didn't do a good job, what, what specifically are you, well, you thinking got, you about? you got a boatload of penalties, and that's getting the kids' attention and focus and preparation ready to come. So you know, if you can't play man-to-man -man or you can't block with your hands inside or you can't keep your kid to play with composure, that's coaching. You know, you're going at halftime, and I, I had some coaches start yelling at kids, like, God, I'm looking at the stats. It's 350 to 180. Calm down. You know, if we don't have seven penalties, we're, we're waxing them. You know, and, 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 and tackle a little bit, you know. Missed a couple tackles, but man, they got they got decent players over there. They do a nice job. Pete's, th those guys again two years in a go, two years in a row now. Those guys have played very very well against us, and I got to give full full credit to those guys. I mean, they play well. They got a very solid team, a veteran team. Uh, we're gonna play better football teams. That's not sliding them. That's not sliding them. But in the Big Ten, you're gonna play some ranked teams and some upper level talent and and some other tremendously great coaches. So it's not sliding them. But you know they, they do a nice job. They know what they want to do. They do it well. They're well prepared, and they did a nice job. I felt, I felt offensively we would get after them and have a big game.